it was me being a fuckhead trying to impress a girl. Did it work? I mean, there's multi-million views. So. No, I mean, did you get with the girl? No, it didn't fucking work. Go. You're best known for being the Pixar Challenge fuckwit. <laughs> the People Pixar Challenge know. fuckwit. People probably don't know you're actually a DJ. Did you get, have you, are you getting anything off that? I made money. Like what, 100 bucks? 120. <laughs> <laughs> it was me being a fuckhead trying to impress a girl. Like, yeah. Of course it was. Who, yeah. who was it for? So this chick on my Snapchat, I was like, I've been trying to tune her for a couple of weeks. And then I make this video. I told her about, told her about it, and sent her the original before there was any like audio over it. I sent that to her, and she's like, "That's funny." So I like, I posted, posted it. It's kind of her, like, she said to do it. Did it work? I mean, there's multi-million views. No, I mean, did you get with the girl? No. <laughs> no, it didn't fucking work. <laughs> Absolute bullshit. So that just shows, girls say they want a sense of humor. They want memes. They want a good looking yeah. face to sit on as well. Right, yeah. <laughs> I, I posted, like I put the meme up and like in like 24 hours, I was like on the on the front page of Reddit, on the front page of Imager, 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 on like bulk, like Facebook pages, like I was, everywhere. It fucking blew up pretty quick actually. So the day I posted it, I posted it in the morning just being a fuckhead. Then I go to like my grandma's like 80th birthday or something. It was a milestone 80th or 90th. It was like a- Yeah, it's a really important one that you don't remember. And I was like, grandma, check this video out. And my parents were like saying that I'd made this video and they were pissed that I broke my dad's computer chair. Uh, Wait, yeah. how, how much was the chair? 300. So <laughs> you made $180 loss on that. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't even have, wait, made wait, enough wait, money wait. to cover the chair. Wait, wait, wait. So, I'm showing her the video. She's like, showing it like, I've got this big grin on my face. Like, you should, you should really watch this. Thinking she's gonna love it. Yeah. She's 80. Uh, she knows what Pixar is. She's like, absolute piece of shit. She I, said that to you. No, no, no. Oh. Like, the look on her face, I, I wish I swallowed your mum. I was at uni studying saxophone. I was playing in a cover band, so we were playing like, you know, Stevie Wonder and Michael Jackson and shit like this in this pub. I don't know why they booked us. We were this seven piece funk soul band and they wanted to hear fucking Horses and Barnsley and we are playing Michael Jackson and Stevie Wonder. But, you know, they were fun gigs. We were all in our last year of uni. We're doing our last gig there. And we had this singer who, he was a bigger lad. And um, he started getting like harassed, like one more song, blah, 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 blah. This guy was like harassing the fuck out of him. And we're all like put, sort of packing up our shit after we finished. And then he's like, you guys are fucking shit, blah, 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 blah. Fuck you, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, you're just a fat cunt. This guy says, guitarist goes, so I could see See John like rolling up his leads, yeah. just seething at this guy, fucking having to go, hoping he would fuck off. As soon as he's like, you're just a fat cunt. He's like, fuck this, hold my guitar, passes it to me. I just pass it on to the next dude. He jumps off stage and just goes, bang, cracks this guy. As that happened, like his mates come flying over. I've jumped off on stage and just kicked this guy in the fucking chest. And then out of nowhere, the band jumps off stage and like three more dudes <laughs> like fucking roll in and it was just fucking on. The security's like kicking us out and I'm like, I'm in the band. He's like, oh, okay. And like, let me back in. But like John fucked this guy up. Knocked like three of this guy's teeth out. He was obviously on meth. <laughs> I have this weird thing where I just run into things all the time. And especially this shin. Oh, I'll see if I can roll it up. I'll show you. Oh, <laughs> yeah, look Jesus. how fucked it is. That's a big gash. <laughs> That's what he said about his life. <laughs> hey -oh! So, walking through 
fucking the back it like the back booth of shooters it's like super dark and they had these tables like obviously like just like bar tables and whatnot they're real low to the ground yeah i literally was just like steaming out the door kicked it as like honestly as hard as i probably could off and got to the car my whole jeans are like dripping in blood pulled it up and i'm like that needs stitches went home and just went to sleep that's so what did you just bleed out in your bed <laughs> well i just yeah put a band-aid on it <laughs> wake up and the band-aid is literally like on my ankle because it's like just seeped off throughout the night <laughs> i'm like my shins are so fucked like literally now every time i just bump it like the tiniest bit because you've got no skin it's just the fucking nerve yeah like literally i can tap my shin here and tap my shin on the scar. It's like two different tones. Do you want to hear it? Oh, you mean like literal auditory yeah, tones? I haven't heard this. Yeah, they're different. That's, that's a different breed. <laughs> it's like hitting bone. <laughs> it's so <laughs> fucked. I'm like, Claire's like, you're going to need a fucking skin graft in like when you're 60. I have a good like battle scar story as well. <laughs> so we were in Toowoomba. We booked a hotel room in like the cheapest, nastiest like hotel room we could. It was like a hundred bucks for the night, like two beds, like two double beds. There's a group of four of us. Two of the boys go back at about one. I finish work at about three. And then the guy that I come home, like come back with, fuck, that sounds so bad. I the guy up. that you took home. Yeah, the guy that I took home. I set up the ironing board <laughs> and then, <laughs> Wait, what? Weird way to say sex swing. Then we set up like a, a full WWE kind of like ring. I smash him through the table, <laughs> or through the, uh, the ironing board. Then we do like a couple of like stupid shit, like front flips onto the bed and whatever. I do a front flip onto the, the, the uh, like the two boys beds. There's a, a like a um, fluoro light above the top of the bed. As I flip, I kick the top of it and I hear it smash and I'm like, okay, whatever. And I was like, oh, that hurt. I look down, there's a bit of blood on the carpet. I was like, oh, I've cut myself. Go to the, like, the toilet bathroom or whatever, standing in the shower, washing my like leg down and it's like still coming out. So I'm like, all oh, right, I'll grab a hand towel and like wrap it around. Go to my best mate that's in the room. I was like, look, I think I'm gonna need to go to the hospital. I jump in the front seat. Like bit like hit towel around my leg, drives us two hours back home. I get home, my parents aren't home, so I called dad. I was like, "Hey, where are you?" He's like, "Oh, we're at half an hour in Browns Plains. Drive to Browns Plains, get dropped off by my friend." Dad goes, "Let me have a look. Take the 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 wrapping off, and so it's like two cuts, and the top cut is literally squirting like a faucet." This is like three, two and like two hours, three hours since it's happened, squirting like a faucet. Dad goes, it's pretty fucked. Let's go to the doctor's. Takes us to the doctor. The doctor looks at it, goes, that's pretty bad. You're gonna have to go to the hospital and get it operated on. He wrapped it up. We go to the hospital, which is an hour away, sitting in the waiting room. And because it's wrapped and like doesn't look like an emergency, we sat there for two hours. I'm st I've, I haven't gone to bed. I'm still drunk from four o'clock in the morning. I get called in and then the doctor like looks at it, like pulls glass out of the cut, like proper fucked. And he goes, you've severed an artery in your leg. And I was like, cool. <laughs> I, I've, I've, I've kind of really fucked that up. How many stitches? I, I've, I think it was like four. It wasn't even that bad. <laughs>